Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the De Havilland Canada DHC2 Beaver. So this build is to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the De Havilland Beaver, which I'm a bit late for it as of the day of recording. It is August 18th and its first flight was on the 16th of August. So I'm a couple days late, but it still counts because it's in the same month. But um... But yeah, so that's uh, pretty cool. How's like an anniversary? This is kind of like an anniversary build. So this plane is very easy to make, and I will be showing you how to do two versions of it. So this is the st like the standard version with the landing gear, and this is the uh, version with the floats right here. And these are the layers to be built up on it. So as you can see, not very much. Now, if you've done my De Havilland to an Otter tutorial. Uh, the tutorial format will follow very similar. So we'll, build, we'll start with building the standard plane with the landing gear. And then what I'm going to do is when we get to the floats, I am going to be building the floats. And then I'm going to build the base of the airplane. So basically, if you want to build the floats, fast forward to the part in the video where I build them. This video will be organized in timestamps, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. So build the floats first. And then, basically, I'm going to be building the whole base of the plane. And then you're just going to build the rest of the plane on top of it. So that's pretty much uh, what you're going to be doing. So, if you want to build the De Havilland Beaver, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need black wool, buttons, quartz slab, block of quartz, quartz stair, yellow wool. Now, yellow wool, I'm, I'm building on the same colors as I did. You could build yours in whatever color you want. Uh, glass, cobblestone wall, block of iron, you will also be needing white carpet and nether brick stairs. Now if there's any materials that I forgot, I will mention them a little bit later because we will need to grab those. But I'm pretty sure that's everything. In terms of dimensions of the plane, it is a 2 to 1 scale. It is 19 meters long. And from wingtip to wingtip, it is 33 meters wide. And it is 8 meters high. Now, the version, that's this one right here. The version on the floats is slightly higher because obviously the floats make it a little little bigger. Like, they make it a little higher up on the ground. So, so yeah, that's basically what the tutorial is going to be like. And we are going to go over here and we are going to build it. Okay, to get started, you're going to place a black piece of wool here. And then you're just going to grab any random block and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then you're going to place your next wheel into here. And then you can just get rid of that. And then just place your buttons on the inside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make um, the gear attachment. So we're going to be making this part right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a slab here. And then you're going to have a double slab going up. You're going to make this a double slab going up like that. And then you're going to make it go up. You're going to come out again and go up by one. So this should be a double slab. This should just be one slab on top of each other. So same thing on the other side. You have a slab here. Up like that. And then side. And then up like that. And then you're just going to place two blocks of quartz. And you're going to have one out. And then it's going to be one, one, two. And they're going to have one out. And then one, two. And then you can just fill this all in here. So that would be the front section of the plane. So I just want to make sure, I just want to recount the back. I did count this before, but I want to make sure that I I am correct on this. So this is basically what we have here. So you're just going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you come in, 1, 2, 3, 4. And, then you do this, and you're just going to connect the other side like that. And then you can just fill this in. And you're going to put a stair here and a stair here. And then a slab right at the back. And then for the back wheel, it's literally right on this block here. You're going to have a cobblestone wall here. And then you're going to place a black block here and buttons on the side. And there's the base of the plane all finished. Now, like I said, if you're building the version with the floats, uh, this is the um, this is, this is just the base for the 
standard version. So if you if you already if you're building the float version, you won't be building this part. So anyways, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so for the next part, this is where I grabbed the yellow. Um, you don't have to use yellow if you don't want to. You can use whatever color you want. But I'm just going to grab my yellow, and this is going to go all the way down. And then right here, I'm grabbing a sandstone stair. And then you're going to place a block, uh, sandstone stair here. You're going to place one block in here, and then this is going to go one short of the back. Or no, it's going to go... Let me just check that one. Yeah, so it goes like this, and then there's actually one more on the back like that. So you do the same thing on the other side. You're going to just drag this all the way down, and it connects into here. And then you're just going to place your sandstone slab stair on here. And then this is where we're going to grab the iron, and but we're going to put the propeller in after. And if I just go to here, I have some of where the engine goes. So it's just three blocks. So let's go back over here. I'm going to go one, two, and then three. Three is going to come out. And then you have a button on this. So I'll place the propellers at the end. And then you're going to place a uh, black block right here. And that basically finishes up this layer right here. And actually, if you want to fill in the floor of the plane, you can just fill this up like that with your quartz or whatever color you, d you decide to choose. But let's move on to the next part. Okay, so for the next part, you're going to grab your nether brick stairs, and you're, ju you're just going to have two here, and then you're going to place a black in between block, like two black blocks in between, in between right here, and then for your quartz, you're going to you're going to go three, like this, and then counting this block, you're going to have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to have a slab. You have a slab right here. And then this is going to go all the way down to the back. So you're going to place one block here. And this is going to go all the way down to here. Now, on the last layer, we actually did miss one thing. Uh, we're supposed to put the elevators in. But we'll put those in as soon as we're done this layer. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. And then that's going to go like that. And then you're just going to have a slab like this. Yep, just like that. Okay, so now for the ailerons, or I mean elevators, okay, just go right at the back on the, I think it's on the upper part of, yeah, it's on the upper part of the other block. So right here, very back, you go one, two, and three. This is going to be four in total, one, two, three, four, and then this is going to be a two, and then it's going to be a one like that. So you do the same thing on the other side. So on the top part, you're just going to have three. And then one, two, three, four. So count this one. And then this is going to be just a two. And then this is going to be a two here. So you have to, so it should just be like a one and then a two like that. So now what you're going to do is we're the next layer is the glass. So we might as well just do that. And then we just make sure of the count the blocks. So this one, okay. So this one's pretty easy. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to have three across the front here. And then you're going to go back by one. Then you're going to have a block in between. You're going to have two windows in here. And then you're just going to have two more blocks like that. And then two more blocks. And then you're just going to have a three. One, two, three. Like that. And then just a slab. And actually... Yeah, there's actually just a one here because there's a slab in here. So there we go. So that's how it should look. So for the tail, tail's going to be pretty easy. It's just going to be one, two, three. And I just want to make sure that that's actually even with this one. Yep, it is. And then it's just going to be a little step pattern. So you're going to go like that. And then you're going to place your stairs like this. And then what I did on mine was I just placed a backwards L shape on the tail. However, this way it's more of a right side L, a right side L. So, but you, if you want to if you want to just place that on the tail, you can. But uh, so now all we just need to do is just place the wings and then we'll do the wing supports and that would basically be it. Oh, and just the prop and that'd be it for the plane. 
Okay, so for the next part, we're actually going to be building in the uh, wing struts to hold up the wings. So you're going to come right to this window here. So this is the first, like, so you're going to skip your cockpit windows. So basically where your passenger windows are. And you're just going to place two slabs like this. And then you're going to go up. You're going to go side. So it's going to be similar to what we did uh, right here. So then it's going to come up like that. And then it's going to go up to the side. And one like this, like this, that that and then you're just gonna have a one slab like this and do the same thing on the other side so where this window is here the first passenger window where this uh, yellow stripe is you're going to place a like a block basically they're gonna have a slab like a double slab then you come up again and they're gonna build that up and then basically just build up a little step pattern and then when you get to the final one you're just going to place an extra slab here now if you want to know the exact height of this it's pretty much the same height as the actual plane. So that will get us ready to build the wings, which we're going to build now. Okay, so for the, for the next part, you, we're gonna put the roof and the wings on the plane. So you're just gonna put two car, you're gonna grab your carpet, your white carpet, and you're gonna place two along here, just on the outer parts. And then you're going to make a T shape for the, um, for the roof here and then you're just going to fill in all the way up to here and then you're going to place a slab here and this is going to go 14 slabs so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then you're going to have a 2 coming out so the wingspan is 15 meters and then this is going to come back in and then go all the way until it connects Oops until it connects up to here and then you just fill that in and as you can see the struts just um, fill in very nicely like they just go in very nicely here and then we do the same thing on the other side so you're going to put one here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then you're just going to have 15 which is going to just be a 2 and then you're just going to drag this all the way down until it connects here and then just fill this up and all we just need left is the propeller, which we'll place in right now. So you're going to come to the front, grab your cobblestone wall, and you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, like that. So there we go. So that basically finishes the airplane. So now I'm going to build the floats and the ba and just the base of the plane. So then th that would be the part that you... Like I said before, if you want to build the float version, this is the part you would fast forward to and then just build what we just did on top of it. So as you can see, this is a very easy plane, but uh, let's go do the floats and then uh, that will basically be it for the tutorial. Okay, so to build the floats of the plane, you're going to come right here and uh, I'm gonna grab my white wool again. Uh, we don't need cobblestone wall anymore. So you're going to have six blocks here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to have a stair here and a stair here. And then you're going to have a, and a, a slab. So I got to grab that again. You have a slab coming out the back. And then right here, you're going to have one coming out. And then you have a uh, black block here. And then right on the back, you're just going to have a two like this and actually a one come actually coming out and it's going to be like this so it's a three and then a slab like that so that's how it should look and then you're just going to basically come out and connect them like this like that and there's nothing in them basically like there's it's all completely hollow in here so then you're going to have one slab then you have a block and then you have three slabs and then a block and then you're going to have two slabs which actually this should actually be a one slab so I might have to change that on mine but you can place two if you want to so now what you're going to do is underneath on the front there's gonna be a slab here and then there's just stairs that connect upside down stairs that connect into here and you do the same thing on the other side so where you got the stair you're gonna go back by one you just have a slab and then right here you're just gonna have your stairs like this 
So that's pretty much one of the floats done. And then you're going to go one, two, three. And then you're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. So this is going to be the, uh, the connection that connects the two floats together. And then you're gonna, we're just going to do basically the same thing. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to have your slut, your stair, and a stair here, and then a slab, and then one, two, three, and then you're going to have a slab coming out, and then right here, you're just going to have a block coming out, and then a black piece of wool on the back of this. Now, if you wanted to, you could also place buttons on them, too, if you really want to. But uh, let me grab my stairs again. And then you could just have one slab here. And then you're just going to have your upside down stairs like that and like this. And then you're just going to connect this going across. And then right here, you have a you're gonna have a slab, and actually this comes out by one, like this. You're gonna have a slab here, block, and then you have three, one, two, three, and then another block, and then a slab just like that. So there's basically the floats. So then the only thing else to do is you're gonna grab your cobblestone wall, and you're just going to basically put one on each of them and now what we're gonna do oh and it comes in by one so you're gonna have them in by one like this and then what you, you're just going to do is we're just going to basically rebuild the base of the plane so you're gonna come across here and then this is just a one like right here and then you're gonna go one two three and this is gonna be where your two is like your two for the uh, bottom of the engine cowling, and then I think I if I remember it was eight blocks. Let me just recount. Like we're basically right here, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it was eight, and then just a four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna do the same thing here, and then put your stairs. And then a slab at the back. And then just fill this in. So there is basically the floats done and the base of the plane done. So then your job, if you just if you wanted this version, you just, like I know I've said this a lot in this tutorial already. But build the rest of the plane, like rewatch the tutorial and build the rest of the plane on top of this. And that's pretty much your floats. Now there's one more thing that we have to do. Uh, when you do have your floats in is you just have to pull this up by one so basically how we have it is like this so we have it like that on like over there and then you're just going to increase it by one once you have the rest of the plane done but that basically finishes this tutorial one more thing before we finish this finish this tutorial uh, is I want to show you the interior now, unfortunately, um, there's only one block interior space, so you can't really get into it, but um, you can um, at least get into it, and then, you know, you can place your seats and passenger seats in the back. But, uh, yeah, so this is more just kind of a maybe a showpiece. Maybe if you're building like a, um, like you have a log cabin by the water, you can maybe build the seaplane version and have your... your your seaplane kind of on your dock or something that would be something cool you can do or you can have it flying or you could do whatever you want with it so but that basically finishes this tutorial okay guys that finishes this tutorial on the de Havilland Canada DHC2 Beaver so if you guys did enjoy please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to see more of these cool awesome builds and I'll see you guys on the next one later